Hey family, thanks so much for watching this video. I wanted to jump on for all of the new mommies or mommies in general, just to share some tips and tricks. If you were anything like me, um, I was a new mom exactly 13 months ago and I was terrified that I would not have enough breast milk um, to feed my baby for the entire year. That was my prayer, that was my goal. I just wanted to feed her um, breast milk for one year. And I will tell you, I went through so much stress and worry, but I wanted to share with you guys all of the tips and tricks that I obtained throughout the year that has helped me have an abundance of milk. So if you want the tips and tricks and to hear about some great goodies like cookies and this delicious tea that I drink every single day, please continue to watch. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And hit that bell so you'll be notified every week when I release a brand new video. All right, let's get started. First thing first, mommy, I have to say, congratulations on your blessing. Oh, being a mommy is like the best thing in the world to me. I can bust out crying every time I think about how God has blessed me to become a mommy and how you know I was able to carry her and we went through so much to have her and I'm just so grateful. So it has gave me a new appreciation for moms everywhere and I just wanna say congratulations. Now, know that no matter what, you are going to be a phenomenal mommy because you were chosen to be this child's mom. So again, congratulations. All right. So now let's talk about breastfeeding. Okay. So in my family, a lot of the women weren't able to breastfeed for um, more than a, a couple of months, not even maybe like a month or two, I think at the max. And so my sister who was a doula, her name was Arnisha Williams. She is phenomenal. She lives out in Hawaii. She actually went through this process first. Um, she had children before me, um, but she wasn't able to breastfeed for the entire year. So she was actually really into trying to figure out what um, can be done to help mommies um, produce enough milk. And so she was absolutely hands down instrumental in this process for me and making it so that I have more than enough breast milk so I'm gonna give some tips so I would say the very first thing number one is pray yep that's right pray why pray well because I think prayer does so many things but the main thing that it does is it releases stress so it calms you down and it allows your body to do what it was what God created it to do so just relax just pray and ask God for what it is you want him to do so if you want to breastfeed for one month for a year just relax and give that over to him and just know and trust your body. Trust that what he has given you is going to produce. It's going to do what it's called to do. So relax and pray is my very first. So tip number two is find a special place in your home that is sacred to you. That is like your safe haven. This is the place where you're nice and rested. You're not restless. Um, you're soothing to you. And this is where you and your baby can go to breastfeed. This is actually my favorite place in the home, in my entire home. I love this little corner. It has my little rocking chair that was given to me. It was um, um, a baby shower gift from my girls. I love this chair. So I have my little rocking chair. Next to it, I have all of her little lovies, her little stuffed animals. Um, of course, when she was first born, it was just a stuffed animal, but now she absolutely like loves this pile of stuffed animals. And then I also have um, my little goodie bag that I've had, my little box that I had since she was born. Um, let me see if I can show you. So this is the little box. I don't know if you guys can see that it's so great. Yes, I am still with Mary Kay. So it's one of um, our old little um, inserts in one of our bags. And you see, I've used it for the entire year. So it's a little torn and worn, but it's near and dear to my heart. And inside this little um, little baggy thing, um, we had it stacked and we still do have keep it stocked with everything that I need for this little section. So when she was first born, I had things like her lotions. I had her um, medicine in there. I had her um, sound machine. Um, I kept that in there. 
Um, I had her little birth cloths. Um, I even had my little snacks. I actually used to keep a little jar over here full of um, little Skittles. And um, I would just, you know, be munching on my Skittles as, you know, in the middle of the night while she's, you know, nursing and I'm rocking her back to sleep. And I have my cute little blanket, you know, the soothing blanket for her that, you know, I love to wrap on her. It's nice and soft and velvety. I just love this little blankie. Um, and then of course, you know, I had like, my table next to me, a soft light and, um, you know, it just made my little, I just made my little area my area. And it was my little safe haven. And it was just peaceful. And in the middle of the night, I could just come out here and I would just rock her back to sleep. Um, I'm next to a window. So sometimes I would crack the window and just feel the fresh air. So my tip number two is to find a place that is nice and relaxing. I'm also directly in front of our TV. I'm a TV person, sorry. But I'm directly in front of our TV. So I would turn on the TV, you know, and put it down low and watch something, you know, and just enjoy that moment enjoy just rocking her to sleep or um, nursing her back to sleep so that is my tip number two tip number three I would say that when I try to um, nurse her and pump I was so frustrated because I always felt like I needed to every pump I felt like for one breast I should have filled up the entire bottle and it was so frustrating to me and you know uh, frustration releases a stress hormone which is like really not good for your body so it just was um, just was so stressful so what I personally decided to do was to stop pumping and just nurse just latch her at all times I'm also a stay-at-home mom a work-from-home mom um, so I actually do have that luxury and I do realize that not everyone can can be a work from home mom but if you're able to just um, latch have the baby latch on versus pump that's something that you can also do too to alleviate that stress I know that um, I heard some ladies say that you know because they have to work they have to pump so what they would do to eliminate that stress of you know looking at the bottle to see exactly how much you know milk is coming out they will put the bottle in a sock in the baby sock um, and to you know cover it up and just relax watch TV do whatever and um, let you know and pump the milk out that way and then at the end of that pumping session whatever that milk is that's the milk supply so you're not you know just staring like I used to be like looking at it like oh my gosh like is it gonna fill up like you know so I used to get so stressed out about it and then I just decided you know what I'm here with her 24 7 when she's hungry I'm just gonna just attach her and that's what happened so that would be my tip number three so here's my next tip. I actually had to um, add some things to help with the production of my milk. I actually was able to notice when my milk, um, the milk flow was like much lighter. Um, as you go along, I started to feel, in the beginning, I did not feel. People would say, Do you, don't you feel the letdown? You feel the letdown? And I never felt the letdown. So of course that just made me panic even more. So let me tell you, don't panic. In your own time you will learn your own body not everybody is the same um so in the beginning no i did not feel a letdown i could not tell when my my breast filled up i'm also very large busted so i just didn't feel that in the beginning now i will say later on um i definitely feel that felt that and during the end um my my goal was just to be breastfeed her for one year and at the when we got close to her birthday i started weaning her off and i only breastfed her at night but um this COVID-19 thing hit and I just panicked and I just feel like I, it's better for me to keep you know um breast, breast milk in her so I continue to breastfeed and I'm still breastfeeding I probably will do it just until you know I feel you know that things have calmed down it's a little safe so I'm not really sure how much longer I will go and who knows she might just wean herself off of um breastfeeding but right now she still does breastfeed but I will say that towards the end when I was doing it um just um, at night, I could feel um, the letdown heavy and I would feel the buildup and it would hurt and I would um, get those knots that I heard so many women talk about but I had never got because she was always, you know, nursing and we were always, you know, she was just always attached. But I started to feel those um, when I started to try to wean her off. Um, but I did, I could tell when my flow was not um, as strong in the beginning. And so that's when I decided to start implementing some things. So I'm going to show you um, some of the things that I started to implement. So the very first um, product that I use, let me show you. So this product is called, um, it's Mother's Milk. It's a tea. I don't know if you can see that. 
So it's a tea. Um, it's from Bio Organics. You can get it um, anywhere from um, Walmart to Moms um, to Whole Foods. They sell them everywhere. And um, so it says it's original with fennel and fenugreek. Um, so it's just a tea bag. It has 16 tea bags in here. And this is the tea that I was drinking earlier. Um, it's still some in there. I love this tea. It actually tastes really, really good. It's a nice, clean um, tea. It just reminds me, it doesn't remind me of black tea. It just, it's just a nice herbal tea. It's just nice and relaxing and calming. Um, it, but I have noticed a difference. I can tell when I don't take my, when I don't um, drink my tea. And I usually do just one cup a day. I use it in the morning. All right, so this is the first one. Oh, this box is usually, I usually get it, pick it up from Walmart when I go, and it's about $5. So my next okay. product of choice um, are the Greek Dietary Supplements, um, the pills. So I actually picked these up from Target or Walmart, and it's just Greek. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. Um, and it says it's 610 milligrams per cap capsule. I take three capsules a day. Um, it does tell you, like, usually you can, like, go by... Um, I think it's like your weight or what have you and it has you break it down of how many um, pills to take and things like that but I only take three because um, I noticed that with this and um, the tea it does the trick so I take three a day um, I take them in the morning and it definitely does help production I will say though when I first started taking fenugreek um, my daughter was I would say maybe a month or so and it gave her horrific gas i mean it her gas was so bad it made me cry like she was just she was just so much pain so i will tell you that i know that all babies are different um i know some of my friends who took red and greek um, and they took it from the very beginning and nothing happened to their babies um, but for my daughter it definitely had an effect on her and i'd stopped taking anything with fender greek in it um for until she was about six months. Um, so I just, well, yeah, anything that has been a Greek in it, I stopped taking it for six months um, because until I felt like she got a little stronger and then I slowly put it back in. So it wasn't every, you know, I wasn't taking all these products. I was just taking like one thing at a time to help her, um, you know, her little system get stronger. I mean, I will tell you that her, she was in so much pain that it really had me crying. So um, just be careful with that. Um, I wouldn't know how to tell you to check to see if your how your child would respond to fenugreek, um, but that is just something to look out for. So if you start taking fenugreek and you notice that your child is a little more fussy and things like that, or um, in my instance, you, my daughter was in, you can see that she was in pain. So um, just, this is something to look out for. But again, this is the fenugreek um, tablets that I took, that I still take, three a day. And again, you get it from Target or Walmart. Um, and it's about, I wanna say like six bottles, $6, $7 a bottle, something like that. All right. So another one of my favorite products is this. This is um, by Upspring Milk Flow. It is the berry flavored breastfeeding supplement drink. It is really, really good. So it just is a nice soft uh, fruit drink. Um, it says it promotes healthy breast milk and breast milk supply. It does come uh, with fenugreek and blessed thistle. And that's how you say it, thistle. <laughs> so um, it has 18 packs in it. And I usually grab this from Target. I'm not really sure if they sell it at Walmart, but I'm pretty sure they probably do. But I always just see it right there at Target. So I just pick it up and grab it. Ooh -ooh. So um, it comes with 18 little packets. And uh, this is one little packet. One um, is sufficient, um, makes more than enough. And I just pour it in my little water bottle and you know add a little ice to it shake it up and it is great and I sip on it throughout the day or um, you know that's my drink for lunch or what have you um, but this works really really well it tastes good I do know that it comes in um, another flavor I think it comes in, like two other flavors I know one is like chocolate and I can't remember what the other one is but I haven't tried any other ones I've only used this uh, this flavor because it's my favorite and it tastes really really good it's not uh, too sweet and it's not not sweet so it's good you should check this one so out. you guys i'm about to share with you guys one of my absolute favorites oh yum 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 so my sister that i told you about earlier the um doula she actually makes products um, that helps produce breast milk as well and one of her products is these 
cookies. This is how she packages them uh, when she mails them out and sends them to her customers. So it has her little, um, you know, logo on there. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. You probably can't, but it says "What a Joy Lactation Cookies." Um, her name of her business is What a Joy, um, and she has different flavors of cookies. So the flavors are spiced oatmeal raisin, um, chocolate oatmeal chip, which is what th these are. Um, spiced peanut butter and triple fudge brownie. So she makes cookies and she makes brownies. She makes macaroni and cheese. Um, she makes soups. Um, all of those things are uh, filled with great things to help with, um, promote breast milk. Um, well, these cookies, she gives me 12 cookies in here. And there's such a reasonable price. I definitely think you should check these out. Um, it comes, it does have fenugreek in it, um, as well as blessed thistle. So it has all these great um, ingredients and it tastes so yummy. Um, and when you open the package, it's nice and fresh, nice, fresh, warm, well not warm, unless you warm it up, but a nice, fresh, delicious, delicious cookie. So these are my favorite too. So I snack on these two. Uh, this is something I don't eat every day. Um, I may take it, you know, a couple of days here or there, um, but I do eat at least two, two cookies at a time. Um, you know, just to help with the supply as well. So this is something else that's just really good. Um, and then I really wanted to circle back to um, address the mothers who cannot use fenugreek um, at the moment. And I was thinking back, what did I use instead? So I reached out to my sister and I was like, what did we do instead? I cannot remember. But um, my sister was here. She's, her and her family, her and her husband, her family have moved back to Hawaii. Um, you know recently but they were here throughout my pregnancy and um for the first year of our daughter's life um and in the beginning when we realized that we could not use fenugreek um with naraya uh, my sister would make delicious treats and bring them over to me so she made um every morning she did make sure that it told me to eat oatmeal so i would eat a bowl of oatmeal um i know a lot of people say use the I think it was like steel something oatmeal, but I will tell you that uh, I didn't do that. <laughs> I just choose regular instant oatmeal um, and it worked perfectly fine for me. So it might work for you. If not, then get the steel cut um, oatmeal. Um, but again, I used just instant oatmeal and I ate that every single morning. Um, she, she also would um, recommend that any person who cannot use uh, fenugreek to get, I wrote it down. So I'll make sure I give it to you guys correctly. So to grab um, flexseed meal and use that, uh, chia seeds, brewer's yeast and blessed thistle. And so what she did with those products, I mean, all of those ingredients you can get from um, Target or Walmart. She said even Mom's Organic um, carries these items. Um, but what she does is she will mix them into meals. Into So she makes a delicious macaroni and cheese. Oh my goodness. I posted a picture of that on my, um, on my Facebook page and my uh, Instagram. So if you guys want to see it, it looked so delicious. It was so delicious. Oh my gosh. I love every time she makes me the macaroni and cheese. So she makes the macaroni and cheese. Uh, she makes the soups. Like I said, um, she makes, um, brownies and cookies. So if you guys want to check out her, um, her products, which I'm telling you, you are going to be so glad you did. Um, you can go right now to joybows.com. So J O Y B O W S.com and grab the, um, lactation cookies and they come directly to your door beautifully packaged or if you want um, to try the other products like the macaroni and cheese and um, the soups and all of those wonderful delicious things then you can go to what a joy what a joy .com, um, and that's coming soon so she's in the works of you know getting everything prepared so she can mail those back out um, because again they're getting settled in Hawaii but um, those are the two uh, spots you can go to to pick up those items so my very last tip for you guys is to truly enjoy the ride. I heard it so much when I was pregnant and when I had her is enjoy every moment because it goes by so fast. It goes by so fast. Well, let me tell you, it goes by so fast. I cannot believe that my little one is over a year already. Like I really remember being in labor with her, okay? I still remember those pains. People say they fade, uh-uh, I remember that, but <laughs> It, go, it went by so fast. So just enjoy every moment when you're holding your little one and rocking them, smell their hair, feel their skin, remember how their voice sounds, like just breathe in your little one and enjoy this gift from God. So 
that's all I have to say to you guys right now. I hope you liked the video. I hope it helped you in some way. Um, I would love to hear your comments. I would love to hear, you know, the tips and tricks that you did. And you can share them down below. It might help someone else. Um, and if there's any questions that I can help you with, um, I'll be happy to answer what I can. Oh, I almost forgot one of my biggest tips. And that is connect with the lactation nurse. Yep. So my sister, the doula, she is amazing. Um, so she also, you know, works with that, uh, you know, can help you with the lactation and all that as well. But with my health insurance, um, with I'm with Kaiser, um, they gave me um, a lactation nurse. They gave me the option to have a lactation, a lactation nurse. And I was actually taking the classes before, um, the birthing classes. And um, they taught a little bit about breastfeeding. But I remember um, when I first had her, they pretty much assigned me um, a lactation nurse, a lactation nurse. And I loved her and I could ask her any questions and I would email her back and forth um, and she was always inspiring. So she would send me messages like, hey, how are you doing? Just let you know you can do it, you can keep up and um, you know, check out this video, it might help you. So um, I would definitely, definitely say that will be, besides getting a doula, because a doula helps with the birthing and all that stuff. Um, and working with my sister and getting all these products um because those i'm telling you they're delicious and it helped as well um but um the other thing i would definitely recommend is a lactation nurse so that truly is it that's all of, that i have to share with you guys today so again i hope you enjoyed the video i absolutely love 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 being a mom that is like my biggest blessing ever and um i hope it helped you in some kind of way so again don't forget to like comment or subscribe and hit that bell so you'll be notified on my next video i talk to you soon love you Mwah.